Hi, I'm going to show you how to split and create conditional columns in Power BI. So in the previous video, we are using a basketball data set and we are in the edit queries menu. And let's just go over to our queries. Uh, we had a tab that we brought in from an Excel that had Jordan career stats, LeBron's career stats, and what we did was appended those two tables to add one and we created this table. We also created a custom column. If we go over to our applied steps where we added the player's name, Jordan, and we added LeBron's name. The last thing we did was we connected or merged this table with our uh, append table so we could have the full name of the teams. So if we go to apply steps, we see we filtered rows, we renamed columns, we merged queries, we expanded the table that we merged, and then we filtered our null values. All right, so now, what I want to do is I want to split this particular column. It's the result columns. I want to have two columns, one with whether they won or lost, and then by how much. So first thing we're going to do is highlight the column. We're going to go to split column, split column by delimiter. So now that we know that we want to split the column by delimiter, what delimiter do we want to split it by? We have options here. And what I want to do is split this column by space. So now you see that we have two resulting columns. But this is not exactly what I want. I have the first column, whether they won or lost. And then I have the second column, which is by how much. But right now, this is a text. If I try to convert it to a whole number. I'm going to add a new step. It breaks. So I'm going to go back to my apply steps and get rid of it. Now I want to split this column by the parentheses. So I highlight the column. I go over to split column. I say by delimiter. And wow, Power BI already knows that I want to split it by the left parentheses. We see that we have that symbol there. I can hit OK and it splits the column. Now we have two resulting columns but I don't need this one. Now we only have one more thing to do. We can split this column one more time and let's see if Power BI finds the other delimiter. Yes it does. It's the rightmost delimiter which is a parentheses. I click this. It gives us two columns. So I know I would like to have my numbers and eliminate this column. Now we have whether they won or lost and by how much. Okay, let's change these titles. I'm going to call this win or loss. I'm going to call this results. Now that I have my two columns, what I want to do is create a conditional column to say if the the team won or lost by 15 points it's a dominant win a blowout or just a normal game so first thing i want to do is go over to conditional column click add column from your home ribbon go to conditional column so the first thing we want to do is name the column. So I'm going to put game type as my column name. Then we want to say if, so we rate, we make the conditional. So if results are greater than 15, so if results are greater than 15, let's call that dominant and let's say if results 
are less than negative 15. We can call that a complete loss. Else, we'll just call it normal. Okay, now I'm going to hit OK. And then we have this new column for our game type. I want to do some visualization. So I'm going to go to the Home tab and apply my steps. Now that I loaded my data, I'm going to create a visualization. And what I want to do is I want to see the percentage of game type, whether they were dominant, was a normal game or a complete loss, uh, between Jordan and LeBron. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my game type. So here's my game type. I'm going to bring that in also game type again and count each one of those instances. So I bring game type in again. I convert it to a count by right clicking it. And now I have the count. So now that I have the count, I want to turn that into a pie chart. And in this pie chart, I want to also see both the category and label. So I click the paintbrush. I go over to uh, detail labels. I click label style and I click category and percent of total. So right now we know that this is LeBron and Jordan together. So I'm just going to copy and paste a new pie chart. We still have the same ones here, but now what we can do is add a visual filter to this. So we have player, and then I'm going to go over to where it says filters, drop that in, and for the left, I'm going to choose Jordan, and then I'm going to bring in player to visual filter on the right pie chart and I'm going to bring in LeBron. Now we can see that their stats are amazingly close, but we know that they played different teams and they were different results. So I'm going to bring in my franchise, which has all of the teams, and I'm going to make that into a slicer. Now that I have a slicer, I'll be able to quickly click and see how they perform against each team. Now that I have my two pie charts, I want to create an image of Jordan and LeBron. So I've gone and downloaded some images. I have those images here. So I'm going to get Jordan. I'm going to bring him in there. I'm going to click and bring in the LeBron image. Now that we have both of them there, we have a kind of easy interesting little dashboard that we can see and then maybe one more cool visual we can add let's bring in the card and bring in the average points so we can get points we can go up to our field and click instead of sum average we can du we can duplicate that because we know that we need to add our visual filter yeah, this one's a bit big so let's bring that down a little bit let's bring that down a little bit and we can add our visual filter call this click the fields icon Go over to player, bring in your visual filter, click LeBron, and then I bring in my visual filter here with player, click Jordan, and now we can see their performance, average points, very easily. And let's just make If you want to see the completed dashboard of this, you can click in the description below. Thank you. I hope that helps.
add a quick little title here. I decided to put Jordan on the left and LeBron on the right. So I can, if you highlight that, you'll be able to get the font options. I'm going to choose Arial Black and I'm going to make this quite big. I'm going to drag this over, expand it. Boom, and we have a very simple interactive dashboard of LeBron and Jordan. I hope that helps. Thank you.